Black Friday, Saturday, Saturday, Sunday, Sunday, Cyber Monday, and today, forget Tuesday, because it's Wednesday, and that is, help! (laughs) (laughs) What? (laughs) Welcome to episode 16 of... This is why I don't do the intros anymore. My name's Kai. <laughs> and my name is Fraser. And you're watching Help I'm Stuck in a Podcast on They're Wednesday, not, not Tuesday. Watching. Oh my god, I'm afraid we haven't done this in like you... a, two weeks almost. It's been a week! Oh. <laughs> you're just broken. You need to replace well, your batteries. Oh, uh, you know what? No. My batteries died. <laughs> well, that's it. There you go. You need to replace your batteries. I really do. I really do. Oh. Hello, everyone. Welcome to uh, this week's episode of Help I'm Stuck in a Podcast with your hosts, me, Caroline Flack, and you, <laughs> Baroline Mac. <laughs> Today, we're going to be uh, talking about a few things. Uh, first off on this uh, lovely episode, you heard me say it right at the beginning. It was the first words that I said. Black Friday to Cyber Monday. Never anything you want. And if you do want it, I was it's still gonna too say, expensive. What did you get in the sales, if anything? Nothing. Nothing. Do you want to know what I looked at? What did you have a look uh, at? I've got, I've got like my whole list or whatever, like my Amazon list. And I always have a look through that. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, this is going to be a really good one. Yeah. And like, I've got on my homepage, and there's a few things that have stood out, like uh, Philips Hue light bulbs and stuff. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, there's been um, like some good deals on the starter kits. Yeah, but then, but then like it's nothing else. It. Um, like I saw some good deals on like phones and TVs and stuff, and I'm like, oh, I'd love a phone, I'd love a TV. Yeah, but I don't need it. Yeah, and then like the only thing I do really want at the moment is probably to upgrade my lights in this room to the Elgato ones, and they changed their price. They lowered it down to 149 each, and I was like, that's still too expensive. <sighs> each. Yeah. Oh. Exactly. Usually they're like 190. I'm pretty sure. So. That gives you like an idea. Yeah, but, but that's still quite expensive, isn't it? It's not like yeah, you know they say like you're oh, go and buy it. these prices are gonna be shell shocking. They're going to plummet, and then they're just like, yeah, just cleaned up the dirt from it. You know what? The best thing that I've seen, yeah, mm-hmm. is I've had this in my list for a while because you know I like drawing every now and then, yeah. Sure, why I not? I thought about it a little bit, and I was like, all right, I kind of want to get a bit more into it when I get my corner desk eventually. Like, I'll be able to, like, put a drawing tablet over that side. and Was your corner really desk on easy. sale? No. Ugh. Nothing on, uh, nothing in Ikea is on sale. <laughs> but uh, I was like, this would be really good. Like, I could have a have a drawing tablet to one side, have my monitors here. It'd be amazing. The best deal I've seen is for a drawing tablet, which is 25% off, from 400 to 300. <laughs> it's still expensive. Oh, I don't want to pay see, that. See, the percentage sounded good, but then you just say the money and it's just like, oh my yeah. God. But I'm saying this now. I have just looked on Amazon. They, they, Do you know how they get you? They get you with this. Cyber Monday deals for gamers. Cyber Monday deal, £32.85 to £192,000.96. Or something like that. Yeah? Just saying like click a, on it. Yeah. The smallest thing in like the Razor one is a mouse for £32. Yeah. And like... Uh, small keyboard 70 something pounds instead of 120 see that's not too bad for razor but it's no. still it's still it's still expensive it depends how much you want it like there's there's want yeah, versus exactly. need like for exactly. me i've got a few things that i want in mind like as people know i've upgraded my pc uh, recently i think that was about july time and i haven't right. got the monitors to kind of show off its true performance like my monitors are still 60 hertz i'd love to get 144 hertz monitors just so i can show off the t- the true performance of what my pc um, can 4K. handle okay at what <laughs> not well i don't know see i've been thinking just 144 hertz i'd be fine with 1080p because that's like the standard for pretty much everything 4k <laughs> all right yeah 4k i'll get a massive fuck off tv while i'm at it um <laughs> and like yeah, the prices came down, but not by enough for me to go, wow, I'm going to get that. The only, another yeah. problem with me is that I kind of want to go with style as well. Like my current monitors, they're 60 hertz, they're cool, they're, I'm happy with them. Um, and they've got like small bezels around the edge. So like between the two screens, there's not much of a gap at all. Whereas these 144 hertz monitors, there's a lot of them with quite a big bezel around the edge. 
So yeah. it's not only the technology that I'm after, but it's also just to make things still look good because I'm so used to not having that much of a gap at all. Um, yeah, of course. And like, there's other things that I've been keeping in mind for quite a while, like things that they're desirables, I guess. Not things that I necessarily want a hell of a lot, not things that I need, but desirable things. Like, let's just say VR. I've been talking about getting VR for a little while. I've been waiting for the price to come down or for something new to come out so the price of the old products can come down. And that's happened with the Oculus and stuff, but nothing else has come down in price to kind of reflect it. And yeah, I, get I, you. I was really keeping my fingers crossed for Black Friday and Cyber Monday to be that pushing, to be that, yeah, to be that push to actually get what I want and what I've been putting off for so long. But there's just nothing which really stands out. And it doesn't matter how much I want it. It doesn't matter how much I need it. I still can't justify it because I can still yeah. get by with what I got. Fully it's, get you on that. It's difficult. Well, it's not no, difficult I, at I all. I lied as well. I did get one thing from uh, Black Friday. I, I <laughs> oh, mean, yeah. the biggest thing you look for is, like, around this time of year especially, is Christmas presents, yeah? Yeah. I didn't get anything Christmas present-wise. I just thought it'd be good to mention that. Yeah. Um, but I got one thing, and it arrived in the post today. I forgot I bought it. Um, and it was £4. You bought £4 in the post? You just no, have no, four no. individual pound four coins pounds. arrive in the post. It cost me four pounds instead of forty pounds. What? Yeah. Oh, what was it? Steam controller. Ah. Uh... That was the only thing I bought because it was on sale for four pounds. And then delivery is like seven pounds, wasn't it? Something like that. But so, still, seventy five percent off. Still, that's thirty off. Yeah. That's, see, that is a good deal. And and yeah, if I don't want it. I can sell it to CEX for twenty pounds. So, uh, nine pound profit if I really wanted. Amazon, so, take notes. That's really good. Seriously, I was like, I was like, well, I I need a controller to play like controller games. I don't have a controller. Yeah. I don't want to go and spend thirty, forty quid on an Xbox or PS4 one. Yeah. Um, this is four pounds. That will do fine. <laughs> and it's a Steam controller. Yeah, so it'll work with everything on Steam. Steam are doing really good with their har- hardware lately. Have you seen their VR stuff? Uh, I haven't. It's, qu- it's st- <laughs> going back to price and stuff. It's quite expensive, but it seems to be very, very popular. And it's got um, integration with like the HTC Vive stuff. So you, if you have, uh, maybe, maybe I have seen it. If you have the Vive sensors, not the Vive, yeah, the Vive sensors already, you can use your existing Vive sensors with the i think it's the valve index i think that's what's officially called yeah 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 it looks really good it's just again the price aye you know what though speaking mm-hmm. of steam one really good thing they've added is uh you know like you get local multiplayer games yeah they've added the thing where you can actually play local multiplayer games worldwide it's such a good feature all I've connected not... through controllers instead it's i've not properly amazing. played it uh, not Neither properly used it, but I'd love to give it a go. I've played, um, I played, um, what was it called? Keep Talking Nobody Explodes the other day, um, oh. which is literally, it's a game about bomb diffuser for those of you who don't know. Um, it's not even a game where you can really play with each other because one of you is supposed to look at the manual to defuse the bomb, the other one's supposed to look at the game, but it popped up saying, oh, you could play with multiple people ac- across the world. So it's as if like... I can own the game, you can, I know you already own the game, but you can connect to my PC, you can control the bomb, and I can read the manual. Yeah. Which kind of good, like allows us to swap the roles around, whereas someone without the game usually wouldn't be able to play as the bomb. Yeah. The bomb it's, diffuser, it's not the so bomb good. itself. Yeah. I'm, I'm impressed by like, especially like how things are going nowadays, but it's, it's just going really well, isn't it, with stuff like that. I'd love to give it a go with a game like Overcooked. Do you know what Overcooked is? Yeah, I think we've all got it, haven't we? I don't know. I can't remember if I've got it. I've got it. But um, I'd love to give it a go of Overcooked because I've never properly played it because it's only local multiplayer. Yeah. But if I have got it. I have got it. I've just checked. Oh, brilliant. So if if, um, this Steam multiple multiplayer thing um, is compatible with that, it would open up a wide range of possibilities. I think as long as you have a... uh, As long as each player has a controller, then it, it works. Is it only controller? You can't use mouse. Well, you you can have someone use mouse and keyboard, but apparently it's a bit buggy with mouse and keyboard. Right. Okay. Oh, still, I, I could think... probably find a controller somewhere. I should have got that Steam yeah, controller. You should have got the Steam controller. I did oh. link it when it when it was uh, on sale. I missed it. But I think you might have been in Munich. 
Yeah, I think I was in Munich. That yeah. that could uh, make, make us smoothly. Wow, I stammered. That's really not smooth. That That's could allow smooth us to smoothly move on to the next subject. How was Munich, Fraser? Yeah, it was all right. Um, for those I who- don't care. <laughs> <laughs> no, do I? <laughs> um, yeah, I went to Munich to work, and it's not really that exciting because you know it's still work. You're just in a different country, but obviously you get the joys of being in a different country. Um, Although this was the first time I've been to Munich where I've had to take a connection flight. Um, I used to take this airline called BMI, which recently collapsed. I think that was this year, actually. And they used to have a direct flight from Bristol Airport to Munich. So I could just hop on a flight there, go straight over to Munich. And, well, Bob's your uncle. I'm in Munich. But now because they've collapsed. uh, Do you have an uncle called Bob? My uncles are all dead. Uh, Actually, I don't think they are. (laughs) Sorry if you're listening, uncles. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I I don't I can't do fuck. How do I carry on from that? <laughs> okay, um, sorry. Yeah, so I can't do that anymore because BMI and Bob collapsed. Um, so oh no, not Bob. <laughs> so now I have to go from Bristol to Amsterdam and then Amsterdam to Munich. Unless I want to like get a train up to Birmingham, get a direct flight from Birmingham. I don't want to do that. But anyway, yeah, I had my first ever connection flight, which was Bristol to Amsterdam, now Amsterdam to Munich. And I had a look on the few days before my flight, and I was like, oh, yeah, look, it seems like all the flights are leaving on time. So you definitely got... It's only like a 45-minute transfer window, so you haven't got that much time at all. Um, no. And with it being my first connection, I was like, not nervous about it, but I was just <laughs> uncertain about it. And yeah. uh, what was that noise? Were you Donald Duck? <laughs> that's the noise that I heard on your end but I just assumed maybe I did go it might have been you, <laughs> you know what? I'm going to put in yeah. the timestamp and have a look after <laughs> um, anyway yeah but the worst everything that could have went wrong went wrong actually no it was my, it was my uncle Bob <laughs> for god's sake <laughs> sorry continue <laughs> yeah so my first flight to Amsterdam was delayed by one and a half hours no. It was supposed to be a 6.15 in the morning flight, which meant I woke up at quarter to four in the morning. Um, but it's delayed till quarter to eight. So 7.45 for those of you that can't figure that out quickly for some reason. Bloody hell. <laughs> it was delayed till quarter to eight. And then we got on the plane, flew over, and uh, we got there at half past nine. So it was like a really, really, really quick flight. It was only 45 minutes because, of course, there's an hour um, time difference. Yeah. Um, so it's only a 45 minute flight and we land at 9.30 but 9.30 is also the time of my connection flight departing to Munich so unless that was delayed you would have missed yeah it well we missed it they they announced as we were landing uh, good morning welcome to Amsterdam the local temperature is this and of course as you can see we were delayed due to extreme fog it was very fucking foggy uh, these people or these flights uh, which I know some of you had connections for have been missed Blah, 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 9.30 a.m. to Munich. <laughs> so we were rebooked. I had a look on the app and like we were rebooked pretty instantly onto another flight with um, Lufthansa at 11 o'clock. So we thought, oh, yeah, we're not, not going to be too long to wait. Um, we just had to pick up our boarding passes and that was it. And then we got to the gate <laughs> and it was delayed from 11 o'clock to 12.40. Yay! So if everything went smoothly, we would have been in Munich, like properly in the city centre, Marienplatz is what they call it, um, by midday. Uh, instead, yeah. we were in Marienplatz by 4pm. Poor Marion. <laughs> we were delayed by four hours. <laughs> and then obviously there was work-related stuff, and that's work. At so. least, like, though, like, if you're if you're delayed, like, at least you're in the airport, and it's not, like, too expensive in the airport, you know? Yeah. For, like, things that you want. Yeah, um, it's not that bad. But it's, it's still like a delay. delay. You're I still waiting around. Was, uh, the worst delay I ever had was in uh, Turkey. Mm-hmm. At the most... I think it's the second or first most expensive airports in the world. Uh, we were delayed four, five hours maybe mm-hmm. um, from actually leaving to come back home. And like it's already like a late flight. I think it was like a eight o'clock flight the time we left. It was like Ooh. 12 or one their time or something like that. Um but like when we get back home obviously they're only like two or three hours ahead i'm pretty sure so it was like we didn't actually have too much of a gap between time but yeah. um the time we got back uh no in the airport even a happy meal in mcdonald's was about nine pounds something oh 
For a happy meal? Yeah, for a happy meal. Did you get the toy? We didn't get anything. We didn't. What? We got a bottle of water. That's a sad meal. By the time, by the time that we like were about to leave, we were almost out of money for our trip. That's I think that's a, the best thing to say. That's so, devastating. Like we, you don't want to use your card in a different country either. This oh, was when of I was course. like nine, so ten years ago. Yeah. Um. So we we were that delayed. We didn't even get our happy meal, and oh my I was gosh. like, I want my happy meal. And uh, we didn't get any food. We waited till we got on the plane, and the food on the plane was awful. <laughs> And probably equally as expensive. Nah, food on plane was free. It was included. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that... Thank you very much. Uh, first choice at the time, which I don't think exists anymore. Yeah, I don't think first choice exists I anymore, think they've linked it? with Thompson or Tui. Oh, like merged into one. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's what's happened. I remember they like we used to have like Thompson planes and stuff when we were coming back from some of our first choice holidays. Yeah. But, uh... How was the Christmas market? <laughs> oh, it was so good. See, th- this is the bit that I was going to get onto about. This is the positive side of it. Obviously, from being Aye. in Germany, the Christmas market opened on the Wednesday we were there. So we had one night to go around the Christmas market properly. And oh my God, there's nothing like a traditional Bavarian Christmas market. It's yeah. so good. There was mulled wine. There was mulled white wine. I don't like oh. mulled red wine. There was mulled white wine. It smelled was so it nice? sweet. Oh my god, Did yes. You have it? Yes, it was so good. And um there was also this other thing which un- which translates to apple punch and it's the equivalent of warm uh, hot cider and right. the apple pulp to go in with it. And it looks disgusting. It looks absolutely disgusting. When it's given to me I was like, "Oh my god, what did I just order?" But then you drink it. Obviously it's hot, but it it was like hot cider and it tasted nice. It just looked so disgusting with the pulp on top. Well, at least it tasted nice. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, we went out to, um, obviously we had bratwurst and stuff. And then we went out to a proper Bavarian restaurant after. It was really nice. I love going to Germany, literally just to be in the area. And like, you don't get to make the most of that sort of stuff in England. There's nothing like yeah. it. I mean, the most you get really in London is, or uh, like in England especially, is like London's, like this sort of time of year, Hyde Park. Which was really good, to be fair. Oh, the Winter Wonderland. Yeah. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? I mean, it? we've got we got plans to go back there this year, I'm pretty sure, haven't we? Yeah. Well, like, we haven't actually decided a date or anything yet. Yeah, it'd be nice to um, go back. I, I'd love to. Um, and if I've, not, I've sent a message to Amy as well, year. just saying... Um, uh, sent a message to Amy just saying, Hello, we're going to Winter Wonderland if you want to come. Don't know the day yet, but come. That's a good pitch. Yep. <laughs> she said, "Yeah, <laughs> well, that's all right then." Yeah, so easy. Um, We've got something else to look forward to this Christmas as well. Christmas? <laughs> yes. <laughs> New Year. But also the return of Gavin Boxing and Day. Stacey. Oh. oh yeah, Boxing Day. Screw Gavin and Stacey. Yeah, so yeah, it's just Boxing they, Day. They can be the ones boxing. Yeah, the the day which no one really knows why it exists. It's just kind of there. It was like something to do with boxing, wasn't it? I don't know. I don't think so. Hmm. You you keep talking about Gavin and Stacey. I'll find out. Okay. But yeah, Gavin and Stacey, for those of you that don't know, um, I mean, I think it's only really a UK program. Um, it's coming back after, I think it's been off the telly for like almost 10 years. And they're coming back for a one-off Christmas special. Um, for international viewers, I guess you would know James Corden now that he's like a AAAAA listing celebrity in the States. Um James Corden, his acting career, I'd like to say, properly begun on Gavin and Stacey. And yeah. since then, obviously, he's gone on to much bigger and much better things. But he's coming back for a Christmas special, and I cannot wait for it. It's so, so, so good. If you've never watched Gavin and Stacey, I'd recommend giving it a go. Just like try a few episodes. Obviously, if you're not in the UK, I don't know how you're going to watch it. I think it might be on the US Netflix. Oh, brilliant. Just give it a watch. See what you think of it. It's a comedy. It's it's well, it's not like a traditional comedy, but it's like, it's a UK, it's a British comedy. It's a classic. It's a classic British comedy. It's so good. And that's all I could probably say about it without me stammering and stuff, because I can't think of any examples where I'd be like, oh yeah, it's amazing because of this. It's just the storyline to go with it and the, and the situations. It's kind of like, 
in the eyes of a standard English tiger. family. Oh yeah, tiger. In the eye of the tiger. <laughs> Except they're Welsh. <laughs> Except they're Welsh. Yeah. <laughs> I found out why Boxing Day exists, by the way. Oh, yeah. Uh, from BBC. The name comes from a time when the rich used to box up gifts to give to the poor. Boxing Day was traditionally a day off for servants and a day when they received a special Christmas box from their masters. The servants would also go home on Boxing Day to give Christmas boxes to their families. God, so it's, it's a very ancient day then, really. It's got no meaning now, unless, for whatever no. reason, people are breaking the law and keeping slaves in the basement. Um, yeah. But other than that, it Go just sounds like... Go back, like, 200 like, years ago or something like that, maybe. So it just sounds like Christmas Day was celebrated by the rich, and then those serving for the rich celebrated on Boxing Day when they would go back with a gift and then talk to their yeah. family and celebrate Christmas with their family. That's how it seems. It's always just kind of been there. It's just a second yeah. public holiday for me. It's kind of like, you know how you have Christmas Eve, Christmas Day? It's yeah. kind of like... I, I kind <laughs> of you know see what? how... It, it's like post-con flu, except it's post-Christmas flu. I, I kind of see it like, uh, you know, Christmas Day, you usually spend it with your family or whatever. Yeah. I see, obviously for me, Boxing Day is I usually go up to my mum's, or I'm maybe on the 27th or something like that, I'll go up to my mum's for a little bit. All right. Um... So that's like my second little bit of Christmas, really. But like, I Fair see enough. it as like Christmas, I don't really come on my computer that much just because I don't have a reason to be on it. Yeah. No one's really on the computer. Um, I sometimes do, but not often. Um, do you see it as just like the wind down day? I see it as quite a wind down day. Otherwise, like maybe going visiting other family members. Yep. Or something like that. Because, I mean, no, none of my family ever comes around here on Christmas Day. So... I guess it might be a day where you go and see some of your other family. Oh. I know that traffic can be quite, ex- like, I was about to say expensive. Oh, of course, yeah. No, quite, tra- uh, quite hectic, busy. Yeah. Which is usually people either travelling to or from their family. Exactly. But, poof. For me, it's just a winding down day, really. We always visit family. I think the last time we had christmas to ourselves was when we first moved into this house but other than that like we are 99.9 percent of the time round someone's house for christmas yeah. like some close family member's house for christmas um so like boxing day is kind of like the now here's your time to relax day yeah for me anyway i get you mine mine's usually um like Obviously, nowadays, I try and get all my work done for the whole month by around the 19th. So I get, yeah. like, two weeks off. Um, and then, like, we get back to it probably the first end of the first week of January or something like that. Yeah. Um, and then, like, Christmas Eve is, oh, shit, I forgot to buy presents for people. Um, <laughs> Christmas Day is, I'll spend it here, probably wake up around somewhere between midday and one yeah uh i'll make food eat food watch uh shitty uh children's films on bbc and itv like shitty shitty bang bang <laughs> <laughs> to be fair i say shitty children's films usually they're okay i think last year they had like uh oh what was it It was like uh it was a dinosaur or something like that i think one of them what it's a Disney film. It's like the good dinosaur or something like that, I think. Oh, uh, right. It's just the classics, really, isn't it? Stuff that you literally wouldn't watch any other yeah. time in the year. It's the stuff you know you would never watch, pretty much. Like, yeah. they had the good dinosaur on, they had Toy Story on, uh, the Doctor Who special is usually on Christmas uh, Day. Oh, as always, Doctor I don't Who think special. it is this year. What? I don't think there is anything this year. That's breaking the law. I, mean, I don't even remember. watch Doctor Who anymore, but it's kind of like an absolute must for them to have, watch. like, the 7 p.m. slot on Christmas Day. Is there a Christmas special Doctor Who? Uh, there... Will not be. Oh my god. How dare is they? Is there a New Year's one, though? Yes. Oh, maybe they're just shifting it, then. Maybe. Because uh, it's usually Christmas Day, and then they yeah, give it a month. Yeah, it's to do a Christmas And day. then they do the next season, don't they? Yeah, something like that. But there was no Doctor Who this year. I think they've really, like... Try something different of it. I think I think because they got a lot of like backlash on it, they might be changing it up a little bit. Guess we'll see how it plays out then. Exactly. Um, Talking of seeing but, how things play out, gone. KSI really saw yeah. how things played out with his single "Down Like That." 
He's done well off that, hasn't he? He's done bloody well. Like, we were going to talk about KSI and Logan Paul, like, the fight in general, but we're kind of, like, a few weeks beyond that now, so I think it'd be a bit Basically, stupid Basically, KSI won. Yeah. Spoiler, sorry. <gasps> oh, my God, I haven't seen it yet! How could you? <laughs> Devastated! Oh. Can't be my friend anymore! Oh. Anyway, and then a few days after, he re- he um recorded his music video for a single down like that. Um, yep. Before he even released the music video for a song, his single made it to number 18 in the UK charts on iTunes. Yep. I don't even think it's in the UK charts on iTunes. I think it might be just in the UK charts on I think it is Radio the charts. 1 in general. And um, even more recently... He made it into the top 10 oh on UK charts. Is that recent? Yeah, on November 29th, it reached number 10 on the UK charts. Right now, he is number 10. Oh, brilliant. And even on that day, he hit number one on the UK iTunes charts. Yep. A YouTuber! Right. His previous best was Lamborghini at number 30. So to get into the top 10 as a YouTuber, now professional boxer and rapper, yeah, that's insane. He's doing wonders. You know what's really creeping up though, speaking of the UK charts? What's that? If you like look at them right now, you right, can see it's, it's like the, the normal songs. You get to around, I don't know, say 30. Mm-hmm. You start to see a little bit of a change. Mariah Carey is up at 34 at the moment. Oh, God, there we go. Here's the rise of the Christmas songs. Yesterday, it was 59. It's 34 today. So that's a sign. Beast from the East version 2, Christmas song edition. Last Christmas is on there as well, number 43. Bit of wham. Uh, I'm looking a little bit more. Bad guy's still on there, which surprised me a little bit. Are you doing Whamageddon this year? What is Whamageddon? Whamageddon is a yearly tradition where you've got to try and avoid a Wham a Wham Christmas song, all Christmas. I mean, I, Fraser, I sit in my room most of the time. True, true. But like when it comes so, on the radio and stuff, it's just like Fraser, everyone's goal. I sit in my room. Okay, most shut of the time. up. I know, but you can drive and stuff. I, I Fraser. Oh, your radio. Oh no, you, your radio does work now. You got it a does, new car. Yeah, I, I do listen to it sometimes. Okay, um, fine. You've basically. I won. usually listen to Spotify though. Oh, fair enough. But what, what but do you I'm do? sure I'll hear it at some point. You like, listen to your own like playlist, though, don't you? No, no. Sometimes I go into random playlists. Do you use radio, like, for you? Sometimes. Even then, that's for I you. Don't that's really not gonna... ra- I, don't, I don't really expect Wham to come up on my for you or, like, <laughs> ah, no radio way. or anything like that. Just listen to... Let's Christmas. <laughs> Just, like, something like... Let's Christmas. <laughs> Well, send me a tweet on Twitter at Stuck in a Podcast if you've uh, already lost Whamageddon. I will. Um, th- yeah, you do that. <laughs> I will. It's yeah, it's a go- it's a game where basically you got to try and avoid a Wham Christmas song all Christmas. So good luck. I think it's it's harder, especially on Christmas Day. Christmas Day is usually the day oh, that I'm exactly, on my yeah. computer. I'm like I'm I'll be on like I'll be watching TV and stuff. Yeah. So I'm sure on Christmas Day I'll hear it. Yeah. Oh, it's an um, I, I do need to like. Obviously, I go out to, like, some shops and stuff to go and, like, purchase gifts and stuff for family, friends, and whatever else. They, so yeah, and they're I'm sure always playing it something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Especially the, if I give it, like, another two weeks. The problem for me is that I spend at least an hour each day driving. Yeah. An hour and a half, maybe, is more accurate. Every single day driving. So that's, like, an hour to an hour and a half of radio time every single day. Yeah. Which is why it's a good game for me. So, although, I'm usually good at muting the radio when things are coming up, but today, I heard an I'm a Celebrity spoiler. I was so... What What? what was the spoiler? Um, I guess we'll, there'd be a few days beyond it now, but Adele Roberts. What, out? Yeah, out of the jungle. Yeah. And I'm not caught up yet. I'm so close to being fully caught up. Uh, and <laughs> Greg James was just talking on Radio 1 saying, um, and up next, I went, do, 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 And I was like, ah! So I muted for a minute because that just seemed to be like the up next stinger thing. And then it played a song. And then he said, right, we're going to talk to our I'm a Celeb competitor. And I was like, oh, God, okay. Um, I'm going to mute for five minutes because I thought the interview was going to be five minutes tops. Unmuted, heard a voice that wasn't Greg James. I was like, oh, shit. And then muted again. 
Full. Okay, yep. it's a female. Who could it be? Who could it possibly be? I'm muted again two minutes. He still hadn't done with the interview. And at that point, I was like, oh, it's Adele, isn't it? And then I was like, right, that's it. I'm just listening now. Yeah. So I'm a bit annoyed because I was almost like perfect at completely missing the spoilers. Like, oh, I've got this under my belt. Missing five minutes entirely. Fine. Well, just hearing that little bit. Fine. Oh, for God's sake. Now I've just heard it all. I might as well just give up. Do you know who went out yesterday? What? That's not Adele? Yeah. Oh, then no. I won't tell you. Oh. Wait, so was Adele the first person to go? Yes. Did she go on Saturday? Uh, What day is it today? It's Monday. No, Friday. So Adele went on Friday. No, no one went on Saturday. No one went on Saturday. Someone left last night. Yeah. Okay. If you're watching I'm a Celebrity as well, tweet me at Stuck in a Podcast. I'm actually getting into this season. Yeah, I, I thought I wouldn't at first, to be honest, because I, I thought, mm, there's not really, like, anything special, but... And quite a few of the names I didn't recognise. Like, Andrew I Maxwell think... at first, I had no clue who he was. I'm liking him now, but I didn't know who he was. And then also, like, the sporty people, I'm not too into my sports, so that was immediately written off. Caitlyn Jenner I knew, Adele Roberts I knew because of the radio. Um, What's her name? The one that goes, Floyer... Nadine, oh, yeah. Nadine, Nadine from, I knew who uh, she Sugar was. Babes. Yeah, because not no, it's not Sugar Babes, is it? It's, it's Girls Aloud. I thought it was Sugar Babes. Oh, I don't bloody know. Um, but yeah, I knew her because she goes Floyer. Floyer. Yeah, she was from. That's not her. <laughs> What's her last name? Uh, Nadine Coyle. Coyle. Did I say Roberts? Coyle. Uh, yeah, I searched Roberts and I was like, I thought it was Roberts at first as well. Uh, oh no, she was Girls Aloud. I thought it was Sugar Babes. Yeah. Maybe not. And um, and then Kate Garraway, because pretty much everyone in the UK knows Kate Garraway. Good morning, Britain! Exactly. <laughs> and other than that, I didn't know anyone else, I don't think. I knew uh, Andy because uh, I've watched like the odd... Uh, I don't know yeah, see, in. anyone from Soaps I didn't know. I, I only know a few just for the sake of uh, my mum watches them. Like when I'm up at hers, she'll watch them. Oh, fair enough. So, I do like Andy though. Andy's quite a nice guy. I, think. I like them all. They're, they've got really good personalities. I felt so bad for Andy when he didn't get his um, roast dinner. I didn't watch that episode. I missed that one. I feel like but I, I did th- watch the one where they actually went and ate. This always happens. I feel like when some when some celebrities are introduced late, they're kind of neglected. Like they're not in on the rest of the group, and they need to like kind of work their way in. So yeah. they'll happily go towards the bottom of things to be liked, but then they're sacrificing their own well-being and stuff. Yeah. It's a bit difficult if you come in late. I feel like if I were to go in, which obviously I won't because I'm not a celebrity. Um, yeah, you might one day. Oh, we'll Would see you do what it? Happens. That's the question. Would oh, you hell do it? yeah. Yeah. Do you know I how much do. they're being paid? I wouldn't even do it for that. I think it's just really fun. <laughs> the money. But the money is a very good option. To be I, fair. I, I hate sure the idea eating. of eating all of that stuff that they eat and drinking all of that stuff that they drink. But the money! You must have missed my tweet the other day then. What's that? <laughs> I put a tweet out saying, uh, oh, th- this challenge is awful. Do any friends want to do it next time we all meet up? <laughs> Which one was it that you thought that was awful? It was like the blended drinks or whatever. The was... episode yet? Oh, yeah, the blended drinks, yeah. It was like the one where they were like watching cinema stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I thought, we could do something like that. You know, go to the supermarket, go buy some like, I don't know, raw raw chicken, blend it. <laughs> what, and then uh, die? Yeah. You're going to die from raw chicken. Not if it's blended. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you'll just die, but you'll be blended instead. All right, what do you want to do? Go and find a chicken and get his brain? That's kind of what no. they do. Yeah, but are you going to do that? No. What's our next option? Supermarket, raw chicken, dead anyway. At least you know you're not going to die when you're an I'm a celebrity. Well, you could. You could. You could get but a snap. your idea of just eating raw chicken, you're more likely no, to I die. Say, I didn't say eating it. I said drinking the blended Oh, chicken. I'm sorry. It goes into your drinking pouch rather than your eating pouch. It means yeah. you're less likely to die. Yeah. Idiot. I don't think you die from raw food either. I think you do with chicken. Is it salmonella? Can you die from raw food? 
Does raw chicken get? Hey Google, does raw chicken give you salmonella? On the website cdc.gov, they say chicken can be a nutritious choice, but raw chicken is often contaminated with Campylobacter bacteria and sometimes with Salmonella and Clostridium perfringens bacteria. I I understood the Salmonella bit, but the rest of I it was kind about of a bit. Four words out of that entire sentence. <laughs> <laughs> uh, apparently, you're allowed to. Beef is fine, apparently. Rabbit's right. fine. Um, well, that's why I have like raw beef and all of that. Not raw. Um, rare beef. Medium rare and yeah. stuff, yeah. Um, I think it just might make you a bit sick sometimes. <laughs> yeah, salmonella. You know? Yeah. <laughs> what, are we, what are we talking about? Why are we talking about this? How did we get there? We were talking about KSI single down like that. <laughs> How did we get there? All I want for Christmas is you. Oh, that then was like the next subject we went on to. Oh, for God's sake. I don't remember how we got to that. But anyway, we're this nearing the end happens. almost. So we're doing, let's do we're one more great. thing. Yeah, the Instagram hide and like counts and stuff. That's one thing that's like a pretty big deal if they end I up think going through with that. the worst idea they could go with. if Like they want to do it to try and like make it so people actually look at the pictures rather than just liking. I mean, that's what I do anyway. If I like the picture, I'll press like. If I don't, I'll scroll past it. Who cares? I think it's if a anything, button. It's going to discourage likes because you're well, not. It's like, going to discourage people actually going to the platform. There's nothing else to do, is there? That's yeah. It's like if if YouTube were to well, I mean, YouTube's kind of nerfed their sub count and stuff to kind of reduce creator stress. Even though creators still see it, and it's kind of like more of an inconvenience than anything. But hey ho. Um, even if like YouTube like nerfed the sub count, you still got the videos, you still got the likes, you still got the comments. If you're getting rid of the like count on Instagram, you've just got the comments to go off of, where they're currently still dealing with like bullying and abuse as it is. Yeah, the so worst thing a... with Instagram is the comments because a lot of people get really like heavily bullied through it. So what's the like count going to do? The like count. I mean, if I, I get if you don't get a like or something like that on a photo, or like one of your photos has less likes than another one, who cares? Yeah. <laughs> Like you get At the end the, of the day, you're just sharing a picture of your life. See, that's what it it was intended for. But like society's now grown in a way. Like I see where they're coming from, as in like we're really governed by likes and follows and stuff. Interactions oh, yeah, of course. are rewarding. And when you don't get those interactions, you're not rewarded. Um But to hide the like count altogether? I, I think it's a very stupid idea. I just, I don't see the point in doing so. I mean, if they want to get rid of something, I'd say they should get rid of the thing that says video views. You know when you post a video or something like that, it says video views instead of like seen... count. Yeah, because I've I've or like because I've seen like on some like videos and stuff, some of them have thousands of views, but like hundred likes maybe out yeah. of those a thousand views. That's probably more discouraging than seeing like oh my video only got. Oh, my picture only got 10 likes instead of 20 or yeah. something like that. I'd say if it said, uh, I mean, a thousand, I mean, if you do YouTube stuff, obviously, a thousand views, a hundred likes, that's pretty good. Yeah. Well, I th- that, that's you it with that YouTube, Instagram. isn't it? Your kind, of, your kind of goal is to hit 10% of your um, 10% yeah. of your audience. Yeah. With likes. But who knows? Who this knows? Weird, but, um... I think if they really want to do something like major, they should get rid of the comments on there, or like give you an option to disable comments on photos. Oh, they do. They have that option do to they? disable comments. Yeah, that's the thing. Oh, but well, don't to get hide... rid of your likes then, Instagram. Stupid. To hide the likes, you're kind of just sticking up a picture. Well, that's like Facebook, isn't it? Like Facebook is Facebook owns um, Instagram. Instagram. So if they get rid of likes on instagram they should get rid of likes on facebook that's the logic really it's how you kill a platform i feel like instagram's turning more and more into a media center rather than a place to share your photos instagram is ran by meme accounts my my home page is full of meme accounts just because I follow like three or four and all of them are set to private and like my friends are like oh you need to follow this meme page so you can see it and even though I say private like no you gotta follow it so I do follow it and now my entire homepage is, co- is just covered with meme accounts it's turned into meme book um, as yeah. in the in- Instagram has turned into meme book more than actually looking at people's photos and stuff and I like it and I hate it at the same time but it's definitely 
you know how um repost pages killed vine yeah how people were just like reposting funny clips and moments rather than creating content i feel like memes are killing instagram as well yeah and to get rid of likes as well as that obviously that's turning to memes make instagram more sherry as in you you're always sharing memes by sending it into people's dms yeah but if you've got no way of expressing you liking a photo to someone what because you're not going to share someone's selfie and be like wow i like this to a mate and they'll just come back and be like oh you fucking creep um if, the, if you're just going to hide a like count then what's the point what is the point well, there's on no Instagram? point in the platform no it's just turned into a I mean, media center oh, you get you get stories oh <laughs> to be fair instagram stories are much better than snapchats yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely. don't. At least I, I don't use. See them. I don't use Snapchat stories anymore. I I do on the rare occasion where I'm on Snapchat and I'm like, I take a photo. I'm like, ah, that's all right. I'll send that to my story. Yeah, but that's about it. It's mainly Instagram for me now. So go follow me on Instagram at ifxshd. I, I follow to me use, too. I need to use it more. I feel like yeah. I don't use it enough. I'm still using Snapchat and stuff because of streaks and shit. I can't wait to drop streaks. Although we kind of can't. Well, we can. I don't want to. <laughs> Me and Kai, it, we have a 1,054-day streak. I'll drop it then. No! Piss off! It's annoying, because <laughs> that's tied me into Snapchat. If that... well, you, you, know, you know the one thing that I like about Snapchat? You What's can that? send a photo to your friends every day. Yeah. that That's what I like. I, I mean, I don't do the whole, like, take a picture of, like, a, a black surface and put an S or whatever. I, I just I send a photo so of something much. happening in my day. If you send streaks and never send me anything else, then I hate you. <laughs> don't take that literally. I don't hate you. I just hate when people send just streaks and literally don't talk otherwise. If people send streaks but still talk to me, fine. I'll let you go because you're sending streaks to everyone else and I'm just part of the bundle. But you are still talking to me. But if you just send me streaks, yeah, I'm so happy to drop it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. I'm just um, so lazy to take people out of my streak bundle because I don't. That, that, I don't that's send what streaks. I mean. Like I, I always like I make sure that if I'm sending anyone anyone a message or whatever or like a picture, it'll be something that's happening in my day. Exactly. Like, oh, I'm going out somewhere, or oh, I've just woken up. Good morning, or good afternoon, or whatever, or oh, look, I found a funny thing outside somewhere. Ha 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 ha. Finished <sighs> editing. Finished working. Something like that. Just something. Not just. The lowest yes. I go is I'm on the bus home and I send tired. I'm pretty sure I did that today. But I it's still today. better than just streaks. Yeah. Anyway, that's... Um, I feel like street, the whole streaks thing is how Snapchat still has a big market, though. Easily. Easily. Yeah. If it wasn't for streaks, that's I it. would ask my friends to move to another platform and we communicate in another way. Because Snapchat kills my phone battery and I don't use it for anything other than just everyday communication with friends to keep sometimes keep up streaks but also it's just easy to just quickly send a photo but like Hi. you can do that on iMessage you can do that on text you can do that on Instagram DMs you can do that on Twitter DMs and they don't yeah. take up the same amount of battery as Snapchat and with that said this stream is running out of battery so thank you all very much for listening to this week's episode of Again, if you enjoyed this episode, please leave a... What is it? A like? I think you can like. Just follow us. Follow us on Spotify. Follow us. Yeah, do that. We're almost on and, 250 uh, followers. So, like, you gotta, oh, you gotta oh. follow. We're so close. When we get to 1,000, you know, uh, uh, Spotify like to give us a special thing. They do. I yeah. Hope. So you should follow. We're literally on 246 followers. So four more follows and we're on 250. Yeah. Uh, if you want to hear something specific about, like, you want to hear us talk about something specific next week, then send us a tweet at Stuck in a Podcast or through our own Twitters at IVXHD or at Kairos Best. Appreciate it. Uh, thanks for listening again. Uh, anything you want to say, Fraser? Um, it's almost Christmas. 21 yeah. days till Christmas. Yeah. So uh, get ready for that Christmas community episode. On Christmas Day, is it? It is on Christmas Day. Stay tuned. Thanks, everyone, for listening. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bitch.
no, I was going to be nice this episode. No, you weren't. You're going to say now bitch right now. Now look what you've done, bitch. 